Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that believes that arm wrestling should be an Olympic sport. Today, we're going to take a look at a piece of gear that has actually changed the way I approach hiking in general. But first, let's pay some bills. And we're back. So we're looking at this thing here, and what is it? It is a pack, and it is a pack that you wear on your chest. And spoiler alert, if you don't have any time, it's amazing. Go buy it. See you later. Thank you for stopping by. If you want to know why it's amazing, let's get into it. Okay. We're going to just kind of unpack this really quickly. I'm going to show you what I keep in it, how it works. Basically, what you have here is you have this mesh... Um, backing here and this is actually much stronger than I thought it was going to be this is great material this holds up really nicely uh, so far I've had this for some months now uh, a couple outings you know tried it out with this and that different pieces of gear seeing what it fits with and what it doesn't uh, but this works really well if you had something like this and some sort of like hydration bladder I think you'd be good to go but this goes on your back these straps all go around you and it's actually pretty easy to operate uh, by yourself. See, you get these uh, quick release attachments here. This was like the um, Ultra Recon Super Duper Kit. And then if you go to their site, hillpeoplegear.com, you will see the large recon kit bag. They do have a recon harness for a hydration bladder. That's about 53 bucks. This is the heavy recon bag. No, this is not. Which one is this? Oh, down here. The recon kit bag full. He has about a hundred bucks uh, on their site right now. And there's different bags. They range uh, anywhere from, I don't know, there's stuff for these like chest rigs. They go from, I don't know, I see them 90. Yeah, all about a 90 to like 140 for the maxed out ones. They have stuff for uh, medical professionals and all sorts of different outdoors folks. They have a lot of nice stuff on this website, but we're just going to focus on this. We're going to try to keep it concise. Let's get into it really fast. Uh, for starters, we have this Molly attachment on the outside. I have um, attached my uh, SE3 here, and this is sitting here. I got an I5T EOS on the front. I have an Exotac fire steel here and a little carabiner here. Sometimes I attach a water bottle there. It can be a little annoying swinging. Um, we'll get into what I do with water some other time, but we have two zipper compartments here. And by the way, the back is padded. So this is incredibly comfortable. You can feel what's in here, and there is a weapons compartment in here as well in the back. So we have two slots here. One is a weapons compartment. I'll show you that one first. And this one I actually made a, um, a little lanyard for because I don't want to confuse the two in a pinch. Uh, some people, what they do too, is they kind of get this started uh, like so. Where is it? Yeah, they'll kind of they'll put this one inside and this one like so, so there's only one thing to grab, and this opens up really quickly. On your chest, it's not so goofy. It's not as fast as, let's say, like appendix carry, but it's pretty good for hiking. What I keep in this is a, um, a shield here, and I have a Maxpedition holster, if you guys can see. Uh, the firearm sits here, and then I have an extra mag sitting under here. The um, owners at the Hill People Gear website say that you don't need to buy a specific holster or anything for this. It's designed so the weapon can just sit in here. I did notice that I could feel it on my chest. So with this kind of keeping the weapon in the same place the whole time, it really does help. So I do recommend this even though they don't. I like keeping everything in the same spot. It kind of keeps it off my chest a little bit too. So here is the main front compartment here. And in this one, I have a bunch of crap. So let's just get into it. Uh, here's a compartment right here. I've been keeping a small Phillips head screwdriver. As you guys know, I make sheaths and holsters, so I'm always forever adjusting things and messing around. Uh, next to that, I currently have the Wii Knives uh, 617. One of the, I think it was my first video ever on this channel, and I recently just writ dyed it green. So that's in there. So I have a, um, this is food prep, even though it's D2, kind of a weird blade. I just sort of have it in there because I don't really use that blade very often. Uh, here I have the Field Master, I believe, and um, I also wear glasses, so I have, in the corkscrew, I have a little glasses uh, screwdriver there, in case I ever have to work on those in the field. 
Other than that, you know what the field master is. I keep that in there. Um, here, very favorable stream light. And this is the ProTac 1L1AA. Reviewed this on the channel. Love this. That's the light that's in there. Um, and this is all on one side. And then I also have my Fisher Space Pen in here. I do need to start keeping a pad of some sort. I don't even think, I think that's something I'm missing. But that's my pen. Have that, dares. And that's why uh, one pocket cleaned out here. So that's this pocket. And then moving in front of that, I keep a small garbage bag. I don't know why, it's just an old habit. I keep a neck gaiter to act as my mask or if there's smoke or anything. I keep a little CRKT spork for chewing on the grubs. Should I find any while I'm ootin' a boot? I do keep a uh, little packet of small zip ties. I don't know, these are just kind of handy. If I ever had to build an emergency shelter, I bet you these would all come in very, very handy. They don't cost any weight, so I just keep them in there. Uh, I really like this O'Keeffe's lip repair stuff. This has SPF 35 in it, so that's kind of helpful for me. Rips. I keep this work sharp field sharpener. It has a coarse and a um, ceramic rod in here, and this is my little sharpening system while I'm out. I'm only really doing touch-ups. I keep a... Um, packet of different chapstick, different types of batteries, a Bic lighter, and some earplugs. Um, and then also this right here is for a um, uh, foot repair in case I get blisters. Keep some wipulars in here. So look at all this crap that I have in just this, just these two pockets and in the front here. So that's everything I keep in here plus a firearm, plus an extra mag, plus a three inch knife, plus some fire steel and another light here. So. We have everything kind of on our chest. I mean, it's a really nice, it's all in your working space. It's all right there. So adjusting this thing on the fly is really easy. I opted for these extra uh, clips here. These things actually attach to your backpack um, if it has those uh, attachments. And this actually, you can pull some of the weight off the front and you really do feel it. So you can, this thing actually counterbalances a lot uh, better when you're wearing a backpack. I will tell you that. So uh, other than that, is it worth the money? Absolutely. frickin lootly This thing's incredible. Uh, for 100 plus bucks, you cannot beat this thing. I highly, highly recommend it. Go out, run out, buy one. Buy uh, one of the smaller ones. Uh, it's good for kids or your lady or somebody that doesn't want this like kind of honking thing on them. They also have them where it's just the stuff in the front here. Also with no molly. Um, if you're not carrying a weapon, you don't need that compartment really. So you can save some space there. It doesn't hang off the chest. It doesn't get too fat. It gets a little chunky. It gets like this, right? And it's not too bad. I, I will say this. When I wear this without a backpack, I notice it on mile two. I'll, I'll start to notice it. But I have a kind of crappy back anyway, so if you're in shape, that may not bother you. For those of you with big bellies, rejoice because this thing rides above the belly, so even when you sit down, it's actually kind of nice. I don't know. I was just very, very comfortable wearing this thing. It's part of my permanent gear solutions now. Um, hiking. I, I don't know if I'm going to be hiking without this thing in the immediate future. It's just kind of perfect. I don't want to freak people out on the trail with, uh, you know, some massive fixed blade. I mean, very often I will be wearing this with this. And by the way, how cool is it that we sold a bunch of these CM6s with these scales with this sheath? So cool. You can get the knife and the scales at the knife connection. Also, you can get a sheath there too. But if you want to get a sheath from me, Dragon Scale Concealment. And there you go. But this might be like, you know, my backup here. Um, as far as firearm related stuff, I mean, I know this is not a firearms channel, but it's a conversation that needs to be had if you're talking about the Hill People Gear chest rig, because it is designed for some alternate method of concealed carry in the woods. And I think it's genius. It absolutely works for me. It's perfect for my system. I don't know why it took me so long to find something like this. I've been forever you know, shopping holsters and stuff. I found that appendix carry while hiking does sort of work, but it's even better if you don't have anything rubbing on you or anything like that. So I've even worn this and uh, worn a firearm appendix carry and did not use the compartment to keep this as slim and as comfortable as possible. Before I got that Maxpedition kind of universal holster here, there was like my CZ P10C, if you're carrying like a 15 round firearm or something like that, this is pretty uncomfortable back here in my opinion. I've never seen you know, any review, first of all, every re review I've seen of this, everybody loves it completely. But at the same time, to be very, very honest, a, a firearm in here 
especially if you have the front loaded up with stuff, you'll feel it back here. This has padding, sure, but it's mostly in the middle. And there's a hook and loop strip right here down the middle too. So I saw this holster and figured, well, perfect. And threw that in there. This has made a world of difference. It does make it a bit wider. It doesn't hurt my chest anymore, if that makes sense. So I was feeling the firearm through this, just a word of caution. Other than that, I mean, if you're just looking for a hiking solution, depending on what you're going to do with hydration, if, you, if you're using a hydration bladder or you have some sort of canteen holder or something like that, there is a uh, harness on their site for about 50 bucks that can hold one as well. Uh, I may look into that, but I don't want to be on a full contraption. My point to this is this can stay in the car. This can stay anywhere I'm at. This goes in my everyday Maxpedition uh, Pygmy 2 pack. And... Basically, at any moment, I can throw this on, and I have all the, these tools that I need here. I mean, this is all stuff that you would really use to survive with, My, maybe minus this if you didn't have it, but you have a reliable fixed blade, you have a reliable folder, you have other cutting knives here, so we have, we're tripled up on blades, we're doubled up on flashlights because we have the i5T, and we have this streamlight, you know, mask, garbage bag, zip ties, all kind of construction covering up, spork to eat, I mean, this is great. And, and then the wipey wipes. You're good. That's, that's all you need for a day. And we're really just mainly doing day hikes these days. Uh, not a lot of camping. We're just very busy with the business. So thank you to everybody that signed up on Subscribestar. And congratulations to Red Bear, who's won his 50 millionth thing for me. Here's what's funny. He feels bad. Don't feel bad. There's five people on Subscribestar at this moment. So a lot of you guys are going to win over and over. I gave away a free custom sheath. See one of these. That's what I'm making for Red Bear's SE4 uh, clip point, I think. Subscribe star right now is a dollar. I think we're going to make a $5 tier to give away some more uh, high-end knives and stuff. But thank you to everybody that's getting over there and supporting the community. If we could be just doing giveaways every video, I would. We have some more stuff coming soon. And, um, oh, let me go grab something real quick. So that reminds me, as part of the giveaway from Josh Field, see last video, I will be giving away this Cold Steel Pro Light folder here looks like a three and change inch clip point blade good condition i don't know if this one was ever used very sharp still thumb stud deployment seems to operate just fine so if anybody needs a working knife uh add me on instagram five minute knives and send me an inst uh send me a message saying i would like the uh cold steel pro light please with your address and verification that you're over 18 and um I'll just mail this out to you. Courtesy Josh Fields. Thanks, bud. Thanks to everybody that signed up on Subscribestar. Congratulations to Red Bear for winning our first custom sheath giveaway. I'm giving away bigger stuff over there, guys. So you may want to get over there, throw your dollar down, uh, become part of it, and I will throw you in the mix for future giveaways. We're going to have tons of stuff. Uh, so really, we're just pushing the Subscribestar at this time. Continue to order your sheaths from Dragon Scale Concealment. That's about it, guys. I appreciate you. Happy late holidays. And um, we'll see you next time on 5-Minute Knives. And we're back, everyone. And we're back, everyone.